Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? It's morning uh, before work. I am coming to you with these book page bundles because I've just listed them in my shop. And I had said that during my twine bound journal progress when I was working on those journals, I had said that I was going to at the same time take the pages that I used in those journals and also make book page bundles. That was super fun. When I had book pages everywhere here in my uh, craft room, so, but I did clear out a little bit of space on my on my shelves here, which was my goal on my bookshelves. So, you know, I can put away some more books that I have <laughs> brought home. But um, these are really super cute little book bundles and uh, let me, I was just going to go through one with you, let you know that I have nine, actually I need to put the quantity in my shop if you go there before this video is over. Um, well, it should be fixed by the time I upload this video, but uh, I have nine pack bundles ready. So let me just show you what's in there. I think on the listing I put 13 pieces, and so let me show you what that means. So. Like here's uh, one piece, but like some of them, one like one piece would be a double page. So the pieces doesn't mean pages, it means, you know, pieces. <laughs> so like here, this page is from a children's book. And, you know, let me just flip through if I can remember what they're through, what they're from, what the book pages are from. But I did show the book covers in one of those twine bound uh you know, videos where I was showing you my progress and the flip final flip through. And I think I showed you the book covers in the final flip through, if I remember right. So like, I think this one was from an encyclopedia. So that's a double page. This one's from a science book, also a double page. So you're getting more than 13 pages, I guess is my point. <clears throat> Here's a shorthand page and these are all vintage and craft book like a children's craft book i really like the colors on that those this was a really cute uh children's music book and i'll show you that it had besides just like music pages it had these pictures which i thought was really cool and but you know they're colorful they're vintage just really neat i didn't really want to fold the pages but i had to in order to get them into these plastic sleeves, but if they didn't need have to be folded, I didn't fold them. This is from a children's book page, really pretty images on here. You can see that little girl and just really nice aging on these two. This is from a Funk and Wagnalls uh, children's dictionary. So it had, it had, it was really neat, those dictionaries. It had like some stories like this and then the definitions also. You know, in pictures, the words are in red, so just really, and then here's pictures beside the definitions, just a really neat book. Here's another page from that. So there's actually three pages from that. Uh, some very old English and math books. This is from the English book, and it's about writing a letter on this page, really neat. And then this was a math book. This one is a multiplication page. <laughs> Uh, here's a, a more of that, so really neat little book. And some of these books were actually, these math and English books were actually used. So some of them, you know, may have some writing on them. And I think it was mostly in pencil, though. It was all in pencil. This is from a vintage calendar. Uh, let me see if I see the year right here. Somewhere in here is the year, but I don't have it right here. But it was... I think from the, if I remember right, it was from the early 90s, but there's a picture on that page, and that was also a double page. This is uh, from another book. This has music on it, so it says 1990 right there, but I think this was from something that had a variety of things, like you can see. Here is one thing, like a story. Here's music this looks like a, like maybe a poem and then here's just something else different so really neat little book that i took that one from 
Here is, uh, this was a very old algebra book. So that's a double page. You can see the middle, and I just left it like that. You can cut that off. You can use it or whatever you want. I just left them how they came out of the book. I just thought that might be interesting. Some people like to put torn pages in their journals, so there you go. <laughs> Pre-torn for you. <laughs> it's not really torn. That's how it came out of the book, though. That book was, some of these old books, if you've, um, if you've taken apart part some really super old books, they put those books together to last. <laughs> I mean, a couple of these books I've taken apart lately have been glued, stapled, and sewn. And, this, you know, they're really heavy-duty staples, so they were really rough to get out. But um, this one I uh, this one is uh, has paper taped on it because I was going to use it in a journal, and then I didn't need it. Like, I had prepared a bunch of pages, and then I didn't end up using it. So it's from a vintage uh, Berenstein Bears book. So really cute images on that one, but you can um, cut that back apart if you wanted to. So, but it's a double page there, and here's another. This one is actually another page from the Berenstein Bears book. So, there you go. That's what's in that bundle. And so, let me see. Put that back in here in a minute. Let me put that to the side. But here's the other. I'm not going to, you know, that would take way too long to go through every page in here because, like I said, I've got 10 bundles all together. And I don't know if I told you the price yet. They're going to be super cheap. Because it really is a de-stash. You know, I really do need some room in here. And I wanted to share them. And they're super cool, fun book, vintage books. I just love, love how those twine bound journals came out with these pages. So cool. And I'm actually working on some more journals with similar pages. Although I used up some of the books in these journals. So, you know, I've added some more books in my next, next kind of de-stashy type journals. But... Like, let me just flip through so you can see the first page and you're not going to be able to I don't see any any uh, way that I can let you pick out a bundle so it'll just be random whatever I have at the time if you order one uh, you know whatever I have at the time that's what I'll send you but uh, if you they're gonna be five dollars I don't think I said that five dollars plus shipping so super cheap I really do want a D stash and you get a plastic sleeve with it. <laughs> so anyway, then here's the first one. one. One You saw one that I flipped through. So this is two, uh, three. Let me show you this way because I feel like maybe you're not seeing the whole thing because, you know, it's a little bit, you know, it is a little bit tall here. So let me show you this way. Maybe that's better. And if, please excuse the glare because I have an overhead light and, you know, not much I can do about it except for try to, you know, maybe show, show it in a way that... It's non-glare, non-glary. So that was two. Here's number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me turn this one around. Eight, nine. And 10 super cute little bundles I just love them so and uh, you know if you order more than one if you happen to want to order more than one I will check and make sure that the shipping did not add up to too much you know it's supposed to in automatically combine shipping for more than you know one item when you order you know two or more items but uh, if it, you know, I always check that and make sure it doesn't double it or something. You know what I mean? It should, I check the weight when I send it out. And if there is a, you know, for some reason it uh, doubled it instead of combining, I would refund any shipping. I feel like, you know, if it really added up to an unreasonable amount. <laughs> so, you know, don't worry about that. Um, but also I had said... If you uh, have been watching my my videos, that when I did these book page, bu book page bundles, I was going to give one away. So I'm super excited to give one away. So I can't tell you which one it's going to be. 
uh, it will be if like say if for example I sold all of these at all of a sudden you know they went during this next week while I'm doing the giveaway then whatever is left that's what would be sent to you but it doesn't really matter because they're all super cute little vintage book bundles so let me um, tell you that all you need to do to enter the giveaway for one of these book page bundles is just my regular thing <clears throat> that I've been doing in my giveaways uh, super simple just if you're not a sub subby already if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe please then like this video that means click the thumbs up in case you're new to YouTube and also uh, put a comment below this video. Just leave me a nice comment, anything. You know, I love the book page bundles, whatever you want to say. <laughs> That's nice. And uh, then I use the co random comment generator, and that picks us picks out a winner for us. I just did a giveaway last night, so those are going in the mail today. And I won't keep you today, but I hope you like these. And, you know, I plan on doing more things like this in the future. I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm going to come back and do a separate video on my next journals, but my next project. But here it is a super cute little paper bag journal that is coming out so awesome. So I'll do a separate video on that. And uh, I will see you next time. Everyone, I hope you have a great day and hope you enjoy. If you order these, any of these book bundles, I hope you really enjoy them as much as I am enjoying them because. I'm using these same type of pages in here. I guess that was my point of showing you this too. Just so cool. I mean, you can see the variety in here. Just so neat. And if you want to see the variety, take a peek at that final flip through. I just did it like two videos ago, I think, of my twine bound journals. The final flip through has these same pages. If you want to see more of how these look in a journal, just look at that one. So thank you for watching today and I'll see you next time. Have a great day and happy crafting.